kind of a treat to be here to uh, you know get to hang around with not just Godzilla this time, but also King Kong. And uh, you know these these uh, these films are it's really something different for an actor when they do these big films, and you've got to. Uh, you've got these incredible sets and all these talents that come together to build these incredible things and and uh, the, the people that are involved. I mean, they're the best in the business working these things. And uh, so, you know, it's y you learn quite a lot. It's incredible what these guys do. The, it's, it's immense. It's, it's on a scale beyond. You've got to think of a football stadium filled with pretend debris and buildings on their edges and this and that, and then you've got the other guys putting all the smoke underneath it. And then you've just got hundreds and hundreds of people running around running all this stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's not lost on me as the actor. You know, you're just a tiny little piece of this cog. And, uh, but they create this world that, uh, you know, you can really lose yourself in, and they do such a great job. You can, uh, you know, you really believe that you're, you're, you're there, there. So when you see Godzilla, you see King Kong, it, it, it all comes together. The role in this film gives him a lot more. I think the transition in between the three years that have gone in between probably indicate that he, uh, he'd like a little more control over what's going on with this world and that, that he has more to offer. And, uh, and he's trying to take more control. Therefore, he is the monarch deputy director of special projects now. Um, and uh, he, uh, he's just, he's far more involved with the defense of the Earth from these Titans, and uh, uh, that's that is his role. In the interim of the three years, uh, obviously she's grown a little bit older. She's a teenager now, and uh, latter year teenager, let's say. And uh, I'm I'm off trying to figure out what's going on, trying to protect the globe from the Titans, and uh, I think my job keeps me pretty busy and. I'm probably not the best father when it comes to the time I spend away, but my intentions, uh, if they could be uh, exercised, would, uh, would, be, would be recognized as all goodwill, no doubt. Monarch's coming, trying to come up with the plan. Uh, th this film sort of starts with, like I say, after, after three years of, uh, since the last encounter with the Titans. And Godzilla is on the rampage again when we start out here. And what, why, we don't know. That's our job to figure out why. And, um, uh, uh, of course, you've got Monarch that's trying to do that. And then you've got Apex at the same time. They're, they're at the time rebuilding all these cities that have been destroyed. And uh, the two of them come together. And now we're trying to figure out what's happening. And, and we're trying to put two and two together to figure out why is this going on. You know, if you want to go out in the town and meet some girls, you know, go to the local bar, or whatever. Obviously, you want to go out with King Kong because he's always he always gets the girl. You know, he's he's always got a beautiful girl in his left hand or right hand. You know. And then uh, Godzilla, if you want to go out and just break some stuff and destroy the town, obviously you want to go out with him. So that's sort of the that's I think that's kind of the deal. Hey, now don't close out. I've got some awesome movie extra trivia. One of the great pioneers of special effects was Ray Harryhausen. He pushed the limits of imagination, visual effects and miniatures in ways that inspired generations after him. One of his most famous moments in film was a scene in Jason and the Argonauts where the hero had a sword fight with seven skeleton warriors. The scene was done with stop motion and took four months to complete. Hmm. Now, do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the shop section under the video.